So for the past few weeks, I've been making some videos that not a lot of people make. I make videos out of the tiniest bit of Sonic news that no other channel makes videos on, and I try to upload them by the same day or early the day after. And then when big Sonic news comes out, everyone makes a video on it, and I'm like a whole day late! What I'm referring to is that in a European licensing magazine, Sonic is being shown off by this image. What this magazine is, is basically like companies advertising to investors. And here we have Sonic, so let's read off some of the bullet points that Sega are giving to these investors reading these magazines. A global licensing powerhouse. Okay, yeah, Sonic has had a lot of brand deals and crossovers, not much to cover there. Over 6 billion in franchise revenue to date. And this is from all the Sonic games, like every single one since 1991, so that's automatically a lot of money. But on top of that, the Sonic movie also counts, which definitely helped increase the budget within Sega. Over 920 million games sold. We're really close to hitting 1 billion games sold, and I'm super interested to see what Sonic will do when that happens. It probably won't be too big, it'll probably just be like a Twitter post and stuff thanking the fans, but it's still very interesting. Sonic the Hedgehog Movie. Over 300 million plus in the box office worldwide to date. I think the Sonic movie got about 306.8 million dollars as of the time scripting and recording this video. The Sonic movie definitely did a lot for Sonic. For the longest time, I was considering making a video about how Sonic is the most relevant since the 1990s thanks to that movie, and as you can see, 300 plus million dollars right there. The Sonic movie was a huge success and is the number one most successful video game movie of all time. How long that record lasts, we'll see, but moving on. Now this one right here has had a lot of people shocked, and this is the main topic that people are making videos on, so here we go. 30th Anniversary 2021 A year of celebration. New games, digital content, events, major announcements, and a tailored licensing program. 2021 is going to be a really big year for Sonic, that's obvious. But what has caught a lot of people's attention is the word game is pluralized. New games with an S. Games. That means that we're getting more than just one Sonic game next year. Now what do I think that means? I think what's happening is that we're going to have a repeat of 2017. We're most likely going to get a Sonic Mania 2 and a new modern Sonic game. This has left a lot of people with mixed opinions, but as for me personally, I'm hype. Mania 2 is automatically going to be good. I trust the Mania team with my dang life. Now what about the modern Sonic game? Well, I already talked about what the next game could be in a different video. Link in the description or in the card at the top right corner. Go check it out after you're done with this video. <coughs> All I can really talk about is when these new announcements will come. In my opinion, personally, early next year or late this year. I know that's weird to say judging from how we were originally going to get announcements early this year, but then the pandemic struck so Sega decided to do it in a video format, but the recording studio they wanted to use has been and currently is still shut down due to COVID, so we still have to wait, and people are getting upset at the Sonic Twitter. I did a video on that too, please go check it out. That's really all I gotta talk about in this video. I wanted to make a more longer video, but everything that people are talking about I already made into separate videos in the past. So so if you enjoyed listening to me, then please leave a like, and if you want to hear more, please subscribe, as many support is appreciated. And if you want to give your two cents on the situation, or just want to say hi, then please feel free to leave a comment as well. I love talking to you guys. Okay, have a nice day.